A drawing in AutoCAD is really nothing more than just a series of lines, arcs, and polygons. In this chapter, we looked at drawing each of these objects and a few more things. So let's make a drawing using as many of these items as I can throw in. So we aren't going to concentrate on creating an accurate machine drawing per se, nor will we be creating design plans for your new house. But we're going to use these tools and commands that you learned about in this chapter. So let's start a blank file. Click on the new tab button, go to the get started option, and go to the templates and select acad.dwt. So we're going to start off by saving this file because that's good CAD practice. And we're going to call it the chapter five project. This file will be available to you to take a look at. It'll be exactly what we draw here and it will be called chapter five project final. So in this drawing, we're going to create a simple landscaping plan for a home. Now we have nothing really to go by, so we're going to need to create the basic outline of a house. It's driveway to the end of the road, a door, sidewalk, and some planting areas, and possibly a small pool or fountain, something like that. So let's create a generic outline of our house. We're going to use the rectangle command. And we're just going to draw it here. And let's just make it 30 units wide by 50 units tall. So type in 30, press tab, type in 50 for 50. Double click on the scroll wheel to zoom out to give us an idea of what it looks like. So now we're going to draw a road. We're going to make two parallel lines about 30 units apart and about 30 units from the house. So let's draw a line. With your running O snaps turned on, click right here. Turn on your ortho mode. You can press F8 or click on the status bar button right here. Remember if it's blue, it's on. Draw a straight line down, type in 30 for 30 units, and we'll just draw a line out arbitrarily 200 units. Press return, press return again. I'm going to throw in a command here that we haven't used yet, and that's called the move command. Type in M for move, press enter, select this line, press enter again. With your running O snaps on for the midpoint, find that little triangle and left click there. Now move over to the left, use the end point O snap and click on there. I'm going to throw in another command we haven't used yet called the offset command. And I'm doing this because it's just so much easier to use the right commands. We'll go into details on these much later on. So type in O for offset, press enter or the return key, type in three zero for 30 units, press return again, select this line, move your mouse down below it, left click and press enter. So now we have a house and our road. Select this line and erase it. I'm going to move these just kind of out of the way so that our UCS icon is not in our way. There. Okay, so now we have our house and our road, so we kind of have an idea of what's going on. This is the front of the house, this is the rear, and then our sides. Now we need to draw a driveway. We're going to make two parallel lines, about 20 units apart from the house to the road. Type L for line, and then type in NEA for near O snap. Press enter, kind of zoom in, and just find anywhere on here, it doesn't really matter. Left click and then draw a line down here, use the perpendicular O snap. You can type in PER to override that, press enter. And now that line is drawn. Now I wanna make this 20 feet wide, so I'm gonna use that offset command again. Type in the letter O, press enter, and type in two zero for 20, and select the line, and then move to the right of it, and then click again, and then enter. Now we have another line that's 20 units wide. This is our driveway. It's a very skinny house, but you get the idea. Now I want to make a doorway. Let's put the door on the side over here, so it's a side door. Start the line command, press return, and again type in NEA for near, press return, and to zoom in just anywhere down here is fine. Now I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to make this line, because it's a door, I'm going to make it three units long, type in the letter three, and then press tab. Now this tells AutoCAD that I'm drawing at an angle. So I'm going to draw it at 60 degrees. Press return, return again. 
So now I have a line that's going to be a door. Now, oftentimes in architectural drawings, when there's a door and it's shown open, you put a little arc in there. So let's go with our arc. What do we know? I have my start point, which is going to start here. It's going to end over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but I do know that angle is 30 degrees. And I know this is going to be my center point. So I can go with the center, an end, and an angle. So I select that object. There's my center point. There's my start point. And now my angle. Type in 30 for 30. And there we go. So there's my little door. Now I've done some work already, and I don't want to lose this, so I'm going to save it. So I click the Save button, or I press Control and S at the same time. So now I've saved my work. I'm not going to lose any of it. I want to draw a sidewalk. So I'm going to draw a polyline, and I'm going to make it parallel. And it's going to be about five units apart. So let's start our polyline command. And it's going to come from this door. So I'm going to left click here, and I want it to come out straight a little bit, and then it's going to curve around into my driveway. So let's turn on my ortho command, and let's just draw it out a few units. It doesn't really matter how far. I'm going to turn off my ortho command now, and I'm going to start drawing arcs. So type in the letter A for arc, press enter, and I'm going to make a slightly meandering little sidewalk here with some slight arcs to it, but then it levels off to a straight line, and I'm going to make this perpendicular to my sidewalk. Press return. So there's the start of my sidewalk, and I'm going to offset this again, so type in the letter O, this time type in three, press return, select the line, go to the inside, and left click, and then press enter. So there's a nice little sidewalk. Now I need to create a planting area. And what I'm going to do is play connect the dots. So I'm going to make some points. Type in PO and then enter. And that planting area is going to be over here somewhere. Now remember, if you right click, it acts as the enter command, which will give you your last command that you had run. Now those are there. And I'm going to type in DD P type. And let's set these up a little bit. Let's make the point size relative to the screen. Keep it at the 5%. Let's make little X marks. Click OK. And there they go. Now I'm going to use my polyline command. I'm going to connect the dots. So just with your running O snaps on, you can see this becomes very easy. Make sure you use the node O snap. Then when I'm done, I can just type in CL to close it. Now let's draw some circles just randomly in here. And I just need a center radius. Varying sizes, varying amounts. Maybe these will represent what some plants are going to be. Now over here on the side, I'm going to draw a nice little ellipse for a little pool or fountain type area. So let's go to our regular center pool. I'm going to turn on my ortho again. Just press F8 or click on the icon down here in the bottom. Select a point, and I'm going to make it five units wide and then 10 units tall. And now I want to make a pathway or some stones around it just to pretty up the fountain. So I'm going to use my polygon command. Come up here for polygon. And I'm going to give it six sides. I'm going to pick a point here. Inscribe it. And I'm going to make them about one unit in size, so they're about two or so units wide. Now I'm going to copy these with the copy command. So type in CP, press Enter. Select that. Press Enter again. Just pick a point somewhere towards the middle, turn off my ortho, and I'm just going to randomly put them around my pool. You just left click at the spot where you want it to go. When you're finished, press return, double click on your mouse, 
and we have the start of a landscaping plan for our house. Make sure to save your work so that you don't lose it. And there you go. Now yours might be a little bit different because I did some things that were just kind of random and that's perfectly fine. This is just a demonstration very quickly of how to draw with several different tools in a very simple way. 